Hello guys, your host PropTune here, and today I'm back with another tip video. And today's tip is gonna be an executioner. Three tips on how to professionally use an executioner to win more battles. And you're probably making these three mistakes as well, so you can fix. Alright, so let's get right into the video. Tip number one, put your executioner in front of your tower. Now, this is something that I don't really see from a lot of players, and that's that they put the executioner sometimes in the left side of the tower or in the right side. Um, it's not bad, but you can make better adjustments by just placing him in the front of the goddamn tower. And as you can see right here, I paused it on this rematch, and as you can see, the executioner just wings through all the troops. Why? Because he's in the middle. If you had, if I was to put the executioner in the right side though, he would only have hidden like the goblins and the electro wizard, but not the spear goblins. But since I put it right in the middle, I was able to hit every single troop, like here. Watch, right there. Look at that, easily. So that's tip number one, guys. Again, very useful, recommended, especially against beatdown decks. Tip number two. Make sure to not always place your executioner anywhere on your tower. If the if you see that your opponent keeps fireballing it, lining it, rocketing it, or poisoning it every single time, because what this happens is that executioner is not that fragile, but he's still quite weak against spells. So what happens is if you put your executioner right in right next to your tower, and they rocket it for six elixir. It will be a positive elixir trade in a way. Why? Even though the executioner is 5 elixir, here's why. Um, the executioner fully dies and they, can, they get a big ass chunk of your health on your tower. So that's that's problems there. That's a big problem. So putting it away from your tower, like somewhere right here near the middle where the king tower is at, is a great placement if they keep poisoning it, fireballing it, lightning it, or rocketing it. Alright, so just make sure to always not always put your executioner right next to your tower to always spread him so he doesn't get so your opponent doesn't get that much value with his spells. Number three, if you're in overtime and it's almost like a tie and time is running out and you gotta take that tower down, always and make sure to put your executioner in front but in the middle. On, of the king of all your three towers any side whatever tower you go you're trying to go for on your opponent's side now this helps you you know cycle quicker in a way this also helps you pressure your opponent and this also helps you going against troops or like a beatdown push on the other side just in case you know to pull with the executioner because if you have tornado and you have an executioner right near the middle of you know the arena of your side you can pull it with the tornado, and the executioner can slice through all of them, and you can pull the troops towards him as well, and then you can pull him to the other tower of other troops. So that's tip number three. Just make sure to do that if you're in pressure and overtime. Those were my three tips on how to properly use the executioner more professionally. Now, please leave a like, share this video. It's pretty not really important, but you know, just for fun, for views and stuff. Um, subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any more DAX tips, weather updates and news, and potentially even more games in the future. And turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads, any of my future uploads. And I'll see you again in the next video. Peace.